Now it's time for us to talk nutrition. And today on the nutrition segment, we're talking about water. Now, we, we know that, you know, the advice is given that we should drink, you know, eight glasses of water a day. That's about two liters of water every day at least, and so on and so forth. Uh, sometimes we find drinking water challenging. And so the question we are asking is that how do we make our water a little more palatable and enjoyable to drink? Well, the ways to spice up your water is a conversation we're having this morning. And uh, Kusia Kunedu Yadom, who is a state registered nutritionist, is going to help us to get into that conversation. Kusia, uh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine yourself. Fantastic. I'm great. All right. So talk to us about, um, you know, this challenge of having to drink so much water and yet water seems quite bland and mm. unpalatable and so on. Uh, how do we spice up our water and um, still make it nutritious at the same time? Yep. So it's very important because normally um, for even myself, mm. it's difficult for me to make my four of this, that's oh, the four yes. of the 500 ml for the yes. two liters yes. I would need for the day because yeah. some of um, the smell is funny. Mm. And if you're sometimes quite petty, yeah. you tend to kind of indirectly smell everything you are putting in you in the, bottle. in the water. Yeah. And sometimes the, the smell isn't that nice. Mm. And sometimes you just drink water and it looks like, um, oh, it's too tasty. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing <laughs> in it. And so yeah. um, you, you, it's difficult for people to mm. really uh, make it a point to um, um, stay hydrated. Because yeah. sometimes for me to even finish 500 ml, I have to make it look like, because I know I have to do it, so let me just um, gulp it down, mm. not because I'm enjoying what I'm drinking. So yeah. There is a way to spice it up also for the fact that if you have um, people who are invalids or sick yeah. or convalescents, mm. people who are recovering, sometimes there is this whole bitterness uh, in, in, the the, in the mouth, yeah. especially when people have malaria. Mm. And so there is the need for you to make sure in as much as um, I am sick, Koku is sick, we need to do something to make sure he yeah. stays hydrated because dehydration can be setting in. So what you need to do is that in as much as you're trying to flavor your water, last Friday I was with a client and I realized he was taking sparkling, uh, sparkling water. Okay. And this person is taking a lot of coconut water, a lot of sparkling water, and there are a lot of potassium sitting in there. Mm. And in as much as you need certain nutrients, I always say that nutrition is tricky because if you need this glass of a particular nutrient and you go overboard, if you are yeah. not careful, sometimes there is this thing you have to pay for. Potassium, very good for your blood pressure, but then if you do it more than you need, you can find yourself ha having hyperkalemia, mm. which is a condition yeah. because you have a lot of potassium or lots system. of potassium in your system. Mm. So there is a way to go about it, and today we are focusing on fruits and vegetables. Okay. So you can use lime, lemon, or cucumber okay. to flavor your water. Mm. I'll talk about the benefits sitting in there. And then you can use um, herbs like mint, rosemary, um, lemongrass and basil. Wow. But then lemongrass is very common, so I want us to really stress much on the lemongrass. Mm. And then we have spices like ginger, cinnamon, the sticks, and then cloves. So there are ways to make sure you are spicing your water by not just um, bringing something unhealthy or something that is going to put you in a compromised position, but then you are enhancing on your nutritional stores as well. If you have a pregnant woman who is experiencing extreme forms of um, what we call um, hyperemesis gravidarum, yeah. for them, they are throwing up all over mm. and it's very difficult to keep anything in such a, yeah. a woman's belly. And normally for some women, the first trimester that is um month one to three it is very difficult to have something stay yeah. and so it's very important that you flavor these individuals their water you can mm. use just mint and so quickly i'll talk about um, the benefits in lime okay. lemon protects against general cell breakdown mm. and it helps you as far as your cells are concerned we are made up of cells mm. and so where there are cell breakdowns or where there are introduction of other cells that may cause cause other conditions like setting cancers yeah. it helps and then it is blessed with vitamin c yeah. vitamin c is very powerful as far as you have an antioxidant antioxidants will clean free radicals off your system and make sure your chances of some cancers are prevented it yeah. is very good as far as improving on your immunity when okay. covid became a big deal we <laughs> were stressing about the eight key nutrients very very necessary for us all to make sure we stay well um, yeah. um as far as well nourished or 
stay fit. And we have vitamin C, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E. We have iron, we have selenium, we have zinc, yeah. and then we have vitamin E. I've spoken about vitamin E. So iron, folate, mm -hmm. um, selenium, magnesium is somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And so once vitamin C is here, it falls under one of the key nutrients you need for a very healthy immune system. And then it promotes skin health. So if you're somebody who is working out and staying hydrated and flavoring your water with something like lemon mm -hmm. or lime, you, you wouldn't just stay hydrated, but then you are serving your body these benefits mm -hmm. and then also improving on your skin health. And it's an absorber it helps with absorption it is not an inhibitor it's an enhancer okay. so it means that this whole day whatever i've had as far as iron foliage rich foods are concerned my body will be able to absorb all the iron and all the folates in there for healthy okay. hemoglobin okay. and then cucumber cucumber is cholesterol free so it means that it will do your heart yes. some good. Fantastic. Very, yeah. very good. So you can, there are people who crush the cucumber juice and just dilute it with mm. their water. Mm. And it gives it a very nice taste. Sometimes there are people who also chop it yeah. into and, and drop, and it, drop into it into the water yeah. just to give it that nice mm. smell. And it, it will make you want to sip. Because that's what we encourage that we do. It's not easy to drink all this. Mm. And so once it is flavored and you have it in your bottle, yeah. you can just be sipping on it. And then it's gluten-free. So if you, <laughs> you are particular yeah. about gluten, it helps. And then it is very low in calories. Okay. So water can be a way of you even improving on your weight if you mm. have a bigger weight and you yeah. want to reduce, to reduce your weight. weight. Yeah. And then it's good as far as lowering your blood pressure blood pressure issues here and there. There are people, you hear that this person is gone and you are like, oh, the person wasn't sick. But sometimes people are brought in there, you Hidden check things. their blood pressure yeah. and you are like, how the hell are you moving about mm. with this blood pressure? Mint, very good source of vitamin A. Vitamin A is one of the key nutrients for a healthy immune system. So once you have mint, it's very good. And then vitamin A is also very good as far as our eye health is concerned. Mm. And then our reproductive health, especially for the younger boys. Sometimes they come to the hospital or you see a boy, this boy is three, four, and the reproductive organ looks like a child who is one year. Okay. Sometimes some of the foods we are giving them can also mm. help so that at this age, this boy is presenting what... Yes, yeah. the child, the boy will have the correct um, reproductive um, representation. And then it's blessed with antioxidants. Antioxidants, I think almost every week it's in. And then lemongrass is blessed with flavonoids. Yeah. I love flavonoids because of the anti-inflammatory properties. Mm -hmm. So if you have any form of inflammation, and it's also blessed as far as antioxidants are concerned. And lemongrass, you don't even buy it in Ghana because... <laughs> It grows, it grows wild. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And so the, the, I, I know this lemongrass like anything, but now there are people growing it to sell because yeah. of what it does for us. And then it inhibits cancer-causing cells. Yeah. Once it has antioxidant properties, mm -hmm. it will obviously help you with that. And then it is used in Africa to um, cure coronary heart diseases. So some places where they believe, like my, my father's place, the Northness, mm -hmm. they, they don't joke with their health because... It has lots of benefits, and yeah. lemongrass is something like I said. You can just enter somebody's garden yeah, and been, just and just wild. pick it. And then we have ginger, so you can flavor it with ginger. Ginger is also good. Ginger is one of the best. Um, it passes for a herb. It passes for a condiment. It passes yeah. for a spice. It's a super so plant. it's a super plant, mm. and it serves you lots of benefits. It takes away the nauseousness you feel, and so it's it's it's. It's sometimes tricky because you give it to some people and it aggravates mm. the nauseousness. So know yourself yeah, yeah. and know what works for you. Okay. But on, on a general perspective, ginger is very good. It's been considered for alternative medicine. Like mm. I said, you said it's a super yeah. plant. And yeah. once alternative medicine involves a lot of plant and herbs, obviously it passes. And then it's very good as far as making sure you reduce your rate of vomiting. Okay. So women in their trimester one especially, and if you're not lucky with the people with hyper uh, MSS gravidarum, there are some women who vomit throughout the entire pregnancy. Yeah. And so if you have this as your spice, it can help you mm. at least a little, a pinch to flavor your water and probably add a bit of lemon. The lemon and lime works for almost yeah. everybody to make sure that you are cutting down on that. And then ginger is very good as far as helping you to lose weight. 
Very, yeah. very, very good too. And then it helps you as far as your kidney health is concerned. Mm. It prevents kidney stones and other things. So I'm telling you, there's not to make you go and chew a bucket of ginger. Ex exactly. But to infuse it into your meals. We cook mm. our stews, our soups, and just, let's say, half teaspoon of it yeah. into um, your water, mm. um, 500 ml, can go a long way to help. You don't need to abuse it. Cinnamon sticks. Blessed with antioxidants. Almost everything we are talking about has yeah. antioxidant um, properties. And then it improves sensitivity to the hormone insulin. That yeah. is why people with diabetes sometimes resort to using um, cinnamon in their teas and what have you because of the fact that it does you good as far as mm. insulin is concerned. And then it helps reduce your blood pressure. Cinnamon yeah. is very good as for the diabetic and for the person with mm. um, hypertension. And then the last one being cloves also full of antioxidants. Mm. Antioxidants, once I'm excited as a nutritionist when I hear it because it has a lot of benefits for us. Cancer here and there, colon this, colon yeah. that, cleansing your body of some of these things. And these things are very, very affordable for yeah. us all to afford. So mm. once antioxidants is in there, it clears our system of free radicals and then clothes reduce the risk of developing heart diseases because cause of the um, heart healthy benefits it mm. serves you. Once it's anti-inflammatory, antioxidants, it helps as far as yeah. certain organs are also concerned. And then diabetes and certain cancers, obviously. Mm. And so there are reasons why people or some individuals would want to or where it becomes necessary. One, when you have morning sickness, nausea or you have hyperemesis, gravidarum, yeah. like I spoke about. Yeah. And then where I am a convalescent. I am obviously coming out of yeah. um, my sickness. And so there is this whole bitterness. I don't have the appetite. I, don't, I just don't mm. want to take anything. Yeah. And sometimes even taking your medication can be a problem. You <laughs> need to put it in banku or poo because the water sometimes, yeah, when I'm sick, I throw up. I can easily throw up if you give me like raw water. Okay. I don't like um, ice water, but sometimes when I'm sick, because I want the medication to just stay, yeah. I have to do that. I can yeah. opt for yeah, the flavored water. Yeah, a lot of times I realize that if my water is cold, it's mm. easier to drink. Yeah. You know, more palatable. But on a regular, yeah. I don't like cold mm. water. I like room temperature mm. water. But okay. when I have to take my meds with yeah. it, it's a problem. Yeah. Yes. And then the invalid, somebody who is very sick. Yeah. I, I believe that this person needs a bit of extra mm. care as far as everything is concerned. And so for the invalid, just adding a crushed mint, the smell, and yeah. then the cucumber or lemon to mm. it will just have a way it's of spicing. Yeah, yeah. So that it stays because mm. there will be that um, eagerness to have more. Mm. And and you will be helping to yeah. just collect certain things out of them. Any individuals Super. trying to have appetite, yeah. mm. individuals struggling to make their required four by 500 ml, that mm. is your two liters per day, you can start by yeah. flavoring your water and then staying well are hydrated. So I okay. want to make sure I correct because I think I'm not happy with how dry mm. my skin is, how mm. pale I look. And so yeah. you want to stay hydrated, you can do that. And for Super. weight checkers, like I said, and then I'll add the last three. Immune defense helps with blood pressure, regulation and then heart burns prevention especially for ginger okay. so there are people after eating they have this whole um yes there is this collagen at the chest sort of and so yes yeah. so heart burns and so flavoring your water and i see a lot of our foreign brothers do it they keep asking for lemon or mm. lime just add it to lukewarm water, water and then at the table once they are eating making sure they push it down to reduce the rate of heartburn. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you very much, Akosia. So if, if people want to get in touch with you to find out more and all of that, where can they reach you? So I'll post this on my social media handles okay. on Instagram. You can follow me at the nutritionist Akosia, okay. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, nutritionist Akosia, and you can WhatsApp me on this on 0243350206. Super. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure. All right. We've been having a conversation about ways to spice up your water, make it a bit easier to drink more water, the appropriate amount of water you need every day. We'll take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.